Good morning children welcome back to the lesson the portrait of a lady the other day we had a detailed introduction about uh, the lesson like the portrait of kushan singh's grandmother a detailed description of a person is called portrait and uh, we have come across uh, the detail about the grandmother that uh, once she was uh, young and pretty and had her husband and children okay and uh, her physical appearance now at present that she was fat and uh, slightly bent and uh, faced with a criss cross of wrinkle wrinkles running from everywhere to everywhere and uh, her silver locks that scattered untidy over her pale puckered face and she was just like uh, a landscape in the mountain an expanse of pure white serenity and how she made ready the boy cushion for schooling and uh, the uh, making cushion to have a bath and uh, getting ready his uh, slate pencil pen ink bottle etc and she would provide boy cushion the breakfast uh, like stale chapatis and she would also carry many such stale chapatis along with her for the village dogs here we stopped and now let us continue we are at page number 2 okay all of you take page number 2 yeah my grandmother always went to school with me because the school was attached to the temple the priest taught us the alphabets and the morning prayer while the children sat in the rows on either side of the veranda singing the alphabets or the prayers in a chorus my grandmother sat inside reading the scriptures when we had both finished we would walk back together this time the village dogs would beat us at the temple door they followed us to our home growling fighting with each other for the chapatis we threw to them so dear children now what way boy kushan learns his lesson in that school actually the school was attached to a temple that's why grandmother used to accompany or to escort the boy to the school so that she could spend her time in the temple when Uh, the children were learning alphabets the grandmother would read the scriptures you know what a scripture is a holy book like for example for uh, hindus mahabharata ramayana and for the uh, christians the bible and for the muslim the quran the so goes okay the scriptures she would read the scriptures in the temple and when both were finished doing the work they would come back to their home and on the way many village dogs would be there and grandmother would feed them the stale chapatis okay when my parents were comfortably settled in the city they sent for us what is sent for us called for us uh, actually once the parents got settled in the city they made a call to uh, the author and his grandmother to be readjusted there in the city that was a turning point in our friendship okay turning point a sudden change of uh, event is called turning point here a turning point in our friendship although we shared the same room my grandmother no longer came to school with me i used to go to an english school in a motor bus there were no dogs in the street and she took to feeding sparrows in the courtyard of our city house so there was a turning point sudden change in the relationship with the uh, author and uh, his grandmother why because when the boy was taken to city there were no more village school available so he was admitted in a english school where he would go uh, by motor bus in the village both grandmother and author would walk to the school here walking is not possible so the child was taken in a motor bus so the grandmother stopped escorting him to the school 
and there were no dogs for the old lady to feed so she now started feeding the sparrows that would come in the city house as the years rolled by we saw less of each other for some time she continued to wake me up and get me ready for the school when i came back she would ask me what the teacher had taught me i would tell her english words and little things of western science and learning the law of gravity archimedes principle the world being round etc this made her unhappy she could not help me with the, my lessons she did not believe in the things they taught at the english school and was distressed disappointed that there was no teaching about god and the scriptures one day i announced that we were being given music lessons she was very disturbed to her music had lewd association it was the monopoly of harlots and beggars and not meant for gentle folk she said nothing but her silence meant disapproval she rarely talked to me after that one day other uh, after coming back from his english school he narrated uh, his uh, grandmother about uh, what he studied at the school like uh, archimedes principle the world being round but who did not uh, feel herself happy grandmother why because she could not help uh, uh, other these subjects actually she wanted other learn something about god and the scriptures and one day when other said he started learning western music actually according to her this western music is meant for only the harlots and beggars harlot you know prostitutes harlots and uh, uh, lewd what is the word meaning lewd okay children here are some difficult word for you beggar you know who is a beggar harlots prostitute bad ladies okay uh, you might have seen in movies and all the western music is played uh, for cabra music and all you you know it and lewd association lewd here means disapproving of behavior speech or dress etc okay the music had bad association with people like arlers and beggars that's why the old lady the gentle lady did not like this uh, western music she had she said nothing but her silence meant disapproval she rarely talked to the other after that okay that is the thing so when i went next paragraph when i went up to university i was given a room of my own the common link of friendship was snapped cut and separated that is snapped my grandmother accepted her seclusion what is seclusion uh, loneliness with resignation the silence she is totally detached from the material world now she has uh, totally snapped the relation of the other why because other went to study in the university she rarely left her spinning wheel to talk to anyone from sunrise to sunset the she sat by her wheel spinning and reciting prayers only in the afternoon she relaxed for a while to feed the sparrows while she sat on the veranda breaking the bread into little bits hundreds of little birds collected round her creating a veritable bedlam of chirping some came and perched on her legs others on her shoulders some even sat on her head she smiled but never shooed them away it used to be the happiest half an hour of uh, uh, of the day of her so once uh, when the other went to the university for his higher studies the relation the common link of friendship was totally snapped cut into two parts okay and grandmother ac accepted her uh, lonely life with resignation a total dedication to that uh, spinning she used to spend her time spinning the wheel you may have seen uh, that mahatma gandhi is sitting with the spinning wheel okay and many farmers uh, sitting with the spinning wheels okay we were sitting with the spinning wheel like that she started uh, spending her time with the spinning wheels and uh, from sunrise to sunset she would do that but in between a half an hour she would spend feeding the sparrows those sparrows coming to her city house 
and some of them would uh, sit on her uh, head perching perching means seated perched seated on her legs okay uh, what is veritable something interesting veritable means something interesting a bed lamb a noisy disorder bed lamb you can write down a noisy or lack of order a bed lamb for example in parliament a bed lamb is there a noisy disturbance disturb uh, condition is there a chirruping chirruping made by the birds actually birds are making a bed lamb of chirruping but who is not disturbed by the chirruping grandmother is not disturbed by the chirruping she liked it and she even did not shoo the birds what is showing driving them out shooing you very much shoo some birds or a dog shooing them out but who is not ready to shoo the birds out grandmother because she liked the company of those birds and even it had the guts to sit on her uh, legs on her shoulder on her head and no birds will sit on you you children no bird will come and sit on your head <laughs> you are very cruel but here grandmother is very friendly with those words sparrows and that was the happiest half an hour of the day of for her is it clear now the next paragraph when i decided to go abroad for further studies i was sure my grandmother would be upset i would be away for five years then again for further study the boy wanted to go to abroad a different country i mean another country and that is the study is meant for five years and uh, and at her age one could uh, never tell but my grandmother could she was not even sentimental she came to leave me at the railway station but did not talk to talk or show any emotion her lips moved in prayer her mind was lost in prayer her fingers were busy telling the beads of her rosary silently she kissed my forehead and when i felt i cherished the most moist imprint means wet imprint has perhaps the last sign of physical contact between us so dear children when other wanted to go abroad for his higher study who who uh, he uh, thought that uh, grandmother would be upset boy cushioned thought uh, that grandmother would be upset but she did not express it she did not uh, tell a word okay whereas she was uh, praying throughout the day her lips were moving in inaudible prayer was there her fingers were telling that beads of her rosary japamala and silently she kissed others for head and uh, other felt as if uh, it was the last imprint of uh, sign of physical contact between them he thought by the time uh, uh, he comes back after five years who will not be there to receive him grandmother will not be there to receive him but that was not so after five years i came back home and was met uh, by her at the railway station she was there to receive uh, author even after that five years uh, gap she did not look a day older she was uh, as uh, same as she was five years be uh, ago she still had no time for words and while she clasped me means hugged me hugged the other in her arms uh, he could hear her reciting her prayers even the practice of praying is there with the old lady even on the first day of my arrival her happiest moment were with her sparrows whom she fed longer and with frivolous rebuke rebukes actually grandmother was continuing with her hobby of feeding the sparrows with frivolous rebukes rebukes you know small holdings behaving and you write down frivolous all of you write down the word frivolous what is frivolous behaving in a silly and serious way sometimes you will scold uh, your pet cat okay the same way here the grandmother used to scold the rebuke means scolding rebuke your parents rebuke you so like that uh, the grandmother is rebuking that uh, in a loving way not in a harsh way not with anger 
but in a loving way rebuking the sparrows while feeding okay so shall we continue yes in the evening a change came over her she did not pray that day of uh, receiving the author after five years that very particular evening she uh, did not pray she collected the woman of her neighborhood got an old drum and started to sing started to sing she collected all the old ladies of her neighborhood and started singing a song for several hours she thumbed the sagging what do you mean by sagging loose to drop down to a lower level in the middle actually here the drum the drum is there when all drum is there the middle of it has become low why because it has become very old the sagging skin of the dilapidated what is dilapidated almost very old okay for example very old car dilapidated car dilapidated building you know like that so the very old drum and sang oh and sang of the homecoming of various like that uh, various coming after a war people will give a homecoming party the same way when the author came uh, after five years study the grandmother wanted to enjoy or to celebrate his homecoming we had to persuade her to stop to avoid overstaying everybody in the family persuaded her asked her to stop avoiding overstaying and that was the first time since i had known her that she did not pray that is the only time or only day she did not pray why why because she was uh, playing the drum celebrating the homecoming of the author okay the next morning she was taken ill it was a mild fever and the doctor told us that it would go but my grandmother thought differently she told us that her end was dear she uh, took it in a different way what did the doctor say when she was taken the very next day doctor said the fever would go but she thought she would go she would die she said uh, that since only a few hours before the close of the last chapter of her life she had omitted to pray means avoided to pray she was not going to waste any more time talking to us we protested but uh, actually uh, when the doctor said uh, that uh, fever would go she heard that she would go so she stopped praying and she was in seclusion she was in a total resignation that uh, she is going to accept death we protested but uh, she ignored our protest she lay peacefully in bed praying and telling her bits the final attempt of praying and telling the bits even before we could suspect her lips stopped moving and the rosary fell from her lifeless fingers a peaceful pallor spread on her face and we knew that she was dead okay children what is pallor here the state of being very pale pallor pale expression of face because once a person die the face become pallor pallor means the state of being very pale and finally who died grandmother died how did she die praying and telling her beads and finally when life went out of her body uh, uh, her rosary fell jabamala fell from her hand lifeless fingers we lifted her off the bed and as is customary laid her on the ground and covered her with a red shroud okay it is a customary practice or a regular practice that when a person dies and the body will be covered with a red color shroud shroud is a cloth used for covering the dead body you know what is shroud shroud is a cloth used to cover the dead body after a few hours of mourning what is mourning lamenting lamenting we left her alone to make arrangement for her funeral in the evening we went to her room with a crude uh, structure you know the structure is there made of uh, sticks so that uh, the dead body can be taken to the place of cremation cremation you know burning of dead body the sun was setting and had lit her room and veranda with a blaze of golden light actually it was twilight time evening time the color of the light is golden 
uh, we stopped halfway in the courtyard all over the veranda and in her room right up to where she lay dead and the stiff wrapped in the red shroud thousands of sparrows you children you not down thousands of sparrows sad scattered spread on the floor there were no chirruping birds were not chirruping like other days why because they were expressing sorrow they were expressing condolence we felt sorry for the bird and my mother fetched some bread but mother thought they wanted to eat some uh, bread pieces so mother brought some uh, bread pieces and broke into little crumbs pieces and uh, uh, the way my grandmother used to do she threw those things the sparrows took no notice of the bread when we carried my grandmother's corpse corpse you know dead body of corpse there are two words one is with e corpse means dead body another one without e is shows military personnel corpse cadet corps ncc corps like that they flew they flew away quietly all the birds or the sparrows flew away quietly without making a noise quietly next morning the sweeper swept the bread crumbs into the dustbin actually here is a question how did the sparrows express their condolence the sparrows express their condolence by arriving in large number without making a noise or chirping and even not eating the bread crumbs which were thrown by the other's mother okay children that way they express their condolence over the death of the grandmother so that the story is over now you can see there are different stages of life first the stage that uh, the village setting the author and grandmother going to the village school the second stage is at city where the uh, boy started going to english school then fourth is that he started a university and finally he went to abroad so like there four five stages are there so children all of you make a thorough reading and before we conclude let us uh, make a recap of what you have learned for the day today we learned that uh, the boy was uh, taken to the village school and on the way the grandmother would feed the village dogs okay then the boy was shifted to city the grandmother stopped accompanying the boy to the school because the boy used to go by motor bus and when the boy wanted to study in the university the total friendship was snapped and grandmother resorted to feeding the sparrows half an hour and the whole other the the whole day she would spin the wheel and half an hour she would spend for feeding the sparrows that was the happiest half an hour for her okay uh, happiest of her and she would even talk to uh, the sparrows rebuking them and uh, when other went to study abroad for 5 years he thought that uh, he could never see grandmother again and uh, while going she kissed the author on forehead and she, he thought that would be the last physical contact but it was not so uh, even after 5 years she continued living and uh, when he came back from abroad grandmother celebrated the day by calling all the uh, uh, women of that uh, collected all the women of the neighborhood and started singing with uh, while uh, with the drum okay and she overstrained and the very next day she developed the uh, illness and the doctor said the illness would go but she thought she would go and uh, the very next day she died and after her death uh, before the body was uh, taken for cremation thousands of sparrows came and uh, expressed the uh, condolence by not eating the food crumbs by not making chirping okay that's the end of the lesson now children now you can write the notes which i posted uh, th uh, through the google classroom uh, and uh, we will uh, take up another lesson tomorrow till then bye